Hi, Jason Knott with CE Pro, and today I'm joined by Lars Grano, the Vice President of Product Development and International Sales at URC, and we're talking about the resi commercial market. Hi, Lars. Hey, how you doing, Jason? Good to be here. Thanks for joining me. All right, let's jump right into it. We know a lot of integrators are transitioning from doing pure residential into the resi commercial market. URC is really helping integrators in that in that vein. But let's talk about what are some of the, the, the busiest and toughest resi commercial markets right now that integrators are working in? Sure, yeah. I mean, actually, some of the big things for you know, obvious reasons or obvious uh, jobs are the you know, restaurants, uh, bars, that, uh, because what we're seeing a lot of is some of the, unfortunately, some of these businesses are gone due to the pandemic. A lot of that, those spaces are actually being now occupied by restaurants. We're seeing that where they're now updating or upgrading uh, what was there. Uh, the other one is am uh, amenity. I can never say that word correctly, sorry. Uh, spaces uh, in uh, residential slash commercial buildings. So what we're uh, seeing is that, uh, especially when it comes to like uh, gyms, meeting rooms, uh, and especially gyms, uh, what happens now is that there's scheduling involved uh, in a lot of those spaces. So, uh, and because of those commercial spaces where they are having less uh, occupancy, because now that the you know people are coming back into the office, they now have to have the best of the best. They actually have to have the perks and all the features that they can offer to make sure that they are getting those companies that are coming back in, that they're going to offer the best services. So they'll have gyms, they'll have rooftop uh, spaces where, you know, they can go up and, you know, enjoy the sun for a little bit. Uh, you know, for gyms, you know, one of the big things too is that we're seeing is that, you know, they have to have some way to schedule, you know, the, the time that a room is being used. Uh, so we're seeing that, you know, they're, they're using a conference room scheduler for a gym room. Um, tough things that we're seeing though is absolutely, uh, well, I'll add one more thing too, which was surprising, uh, country clubs, which is really surprising because uh, I'm sure you've read that where we saw that a lot of pre-pandemic, we saw a lot of golfing, the golf industry sort of taking a bit of a nosedive you know it was, it was very expensive it was people just didn't have the time to devote to it now all of a sudden we're seeing a, 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 a bump in, in dealers actually doing proposals for country clubs golf courses you know again adding more you know features you know televisions and you know karaoke rooms those type of things um so but then on the top uh, side of things it's actually the delay in the jobs. You know, we're seeing that because one of the things that we hear from dealers is just having a good, well-trained workforce. So there's a little bit of delay on a project because getting into that space, getting into that building, and then actually having the, the workforce to be able to do the job. So there's, we're seeing some of those jobs getting delayed by months. Yeah, I've heard from some integrators who it's interesting, they're, they're having success recently uh, hiring all those out of work live stage AV um, um, technicians who were doing live performances and things like that. And, and that business, of course, is completely just stopped because of the pandemic and they're, they're bringing them into the custom industry. So that country club is very interesting. I wonder if that has anything to do with the outdoor element to that. I believe so, you know, uh, and, and that was the other thing too, we're seeing where they actually want to have more music, you know, it's, especially now we're getting into the summertime. It's an outdoor sport. You're out in the fresh air, you know, it's your essentially social distance from everybody You're out in the course, especially me when I'm, you know, slicing it off into the woods, I'm definitely social distancing myself. So, <laughs> um, you know, uh, I think that's a big part of it. And also just to get boost the whole sport again, also as far as in the golf industry. The restaurant bar vertical has always been kind of a popular market for residential integrators to, to move into the commercial space. How are URC integrators go about finding those, those projects right now in the pandemic? Right. Uh, we're seeing a lot, of, especially in, we're based here in the New York metro area. So we're, we're seeing a lot of that. And what we're hearing from the sales team is, especially when it comes, for an example, even in like some of these commercial buildings uh, and, and the residential guys, they're doing the residential areas of these buildings 
And as you know, in New York and, and also in the Boston area, they're working on these you know, penthouses or apartments or nice you know, condos. And typically on the lower floor, because they're getting in with the building management, the lower floor is typically a retail environment, a restaurant, bar, that type of situation. So they're getting a lot of that from there. We're also seeing where in situations of um, when they are working at a residential uh, area or home, that person typically does work in a company that actually you know, occupies obviously a commercial space. Um, what we've seen and heard a lot about, doctor's offices. So a lot of times there's a doctor's office or a professional office. They might, need, might not need a 70 volt and a video wall there, but what they do want is in each one of their rooms or exam rooms, you know, a separate zone or speaker system. So with our current product of our like HDA line that allows announcements to be made or, you know, ducking, they can do that and they can do that with a multi-zone system. It's not necessarily a 70 volt speaker system that's going into that type of job. Some interesting vertical niches there for sure. Um, all right, one of the trends that we're seeing is wellness. And um, how are you seeing, or tell us a little bit about the sense or the state of um, integrating these things like indoor air quality controls and human-centric lighting controls and other wellness initiatives into commercial environments using URC? So on the commercial side, what we're seeing a lot of is especially now we have a uh, conference room scheduling that typically would only be used for you know blocking out that conference room and, and scheduling time in that conference room. What we're seeing that now, especially in situations with gyms, training rooms, things like that, is that they are blocking it out now and scheduling it, utilizing like a our uh, keypad on the outside that's saying that this room has been occupied and has not been cleaned or hasn't been sterile well, not sterilized, but, you know, actually sanitized is the best way to describe it. So they're using that for that type of thing. We're also getting requests for air filtration systems so that they can monitor it. Same thing. They can see what the level is, how, you know, and adjust it to the occupancy of the room itself. So we're seeing a lot of that. So URC has also introduced some high definition audio lineup uh, products that include some resi-mercial features like 70 volt and uh, ducking and network streaming, which you mentioned earlier. Um, where are your dealers experiencing traction with these products and how are they helping integrators also move into the resi-mercial space? Right, so we're seeing the great thing about it is you would think something about ducking or actually being able to store chimes, you know, uh, wave files that, you know, to use for announcements would strictly be a resident, I mean, a commercial type of thing. So we're seeing a lot of that being used in residential though. Everything from where somebody actually has, uh, brings a, a, a doorbell, it's a side door, it's announced then over our system, you know, automatically where someone is at the side door. Uh, we've actually had everything, and I've been surprised, calls to prayer and, and house of worships, you know, where they've actually used it for those type of situations. So um, the great thing about it, and especially like our 70 volt amplifier, uh, some of the features in that it can be utilized as a low Z amplifier or a 70 volt amplifier or a combination of both. So the great thing is that it can be used in a residential situation where they're seeing more and more for landscape uh, audio, where they're now doing 70 volt, but they'll use them the low Z for the subwoofer to get the actual lower frequencies, which you typically don't get in a 70 volt speaker system. That then transfers obviously very much so into then the commercial side of things where they can actually then run just 70 volt, run them up there. Um, we have, the, the funny thing is we've used, seen our amplifier being used for karaoke in the residential side of things. And we're seeing it used in the supermarket where they're just using timed you know, announcements, you know, opening time, closing time. Um, so a lot of neat things in there because we also built into all the units a DSP. So it's a, a simple DSP. And of course, if you know our dealers need to expand into a much more sophisticated digital signal processor, we obviously have modules you know, for companies like Symmetrix, Biamp, and so on, where they can do that. But the nice thing about it, we sort of gradually move them into that by just using the HDA line. Let's talk about a couple of really specific uh, other devices that URC offers that I think are really beneficial in the resi commercial space. First, tell me about the TKP 9600 touchscreen 
uh, about that product and how that's ideal for some of these ap applications you were talking about? Sure, I, absolutely. You know, the keypad is very, very important, especially in a commercial installation. The fact is that in the 9600 is our 10 inch keypad, which is great because a lot of landscape uh, or real estate, I should say, because the great thing about our programming that we have, we have Accelerator uh, 3, and then we also have TC Flex. The great thing that we can do with our programming is that we can do a lot of customization with uh, Accelerator. And I always like to use the comparison of, uh, you know, almost like a car that has a paddle shifters on it and you have an automatic gear shifter, you know, so, or an automatic transmission. You can let the car do everything itself and it'll do everything great and you'll have a great experience. But when you really want to play around with things and do some customization, you can do that with your car, the paddle shifters, but you can do that with accelerator. I can do custom backgrounds. I can actually have pictures of rooms. Um, I can actually, it'll automatically generate all the macros for me. And then on the 9600, I can have the company logo in the background. But what I can do now, especially like, let's say a restaurant with our TC Flex, if someone wanted to actually have a layout of the actual restaurant, so the bar area, front dining room, back dining room, you know, they can actually just have that on there and touch it and then go to that room and that shows up and then it's essentially an architectural plan that they can put on there. And they can do that as a, a canvas and create any button that they want. Uh, if they just want a big giant red button that just says start the day and everything's automated, you know, throughout the day with the restaurant, as far as happy hour, turning the volume up, dropping shades, dimming the lights automatically where the manager does, doesn't have to get involved. That's the whole purpose of our system is to do that and do it easily. So all this functionality you just described, um, URC is known for total control. It's a home automation system, ideal for the smart home and the resi space. But how is that? It sounds like total control is really the, this nexus that's helping guide integrators into the commercial space too with all these applications. Absolutely, yeah. Because as I had mentioned before, with the accelerator programming, we're sort of training them to do commercial without them really knowing about it, which is great. Because as I mentioned before, they can do the customization on the background. They can do the customization of having you know the images of the room very easily put into the program and very easily put on the UIs. So one of the best things about it is. If you wanted to, you can customize each UI, you know, TC Flex. But with, you know, our Accelerator 3, the nice thing about that program is that they're not having to do that. So when they actually create the program and the UI, that same UI is going to be on every single one of our keypads, on our uh, remote handheld remote controls, our tabletop remotes. So it just makes it much, much easier for not only the resident, or you know, the person that's in that home, but also for the commercial uh, application, because the, the whole point is you wanna make it as simple as possible because the you don't have to sit there and train the, the homeowner how to use the system. It's just, okay, watch TV or do this. And same thing in commercial, you want that capability where you know the bartender comes in, they've never used a system before, they should be able to change the channel or they should be able to raise and lower the music without having to find out how do I operate this. And that's the, the benefit of the whole total control system where it sort of walks the line between both residential and commercial. All right, a lot going on in this space. We know the pandemic uh, uh, made it really rough on the commercial side, but now as things are coming back, really is a great opportunity and a great time for integrators to be planning for all these offices coming back, all these restaurants, all these bars, these country clubs coming back in. They're going to need control. They're going to need things to accommodate um, separation and spacing and, and cleanliness, as you talked about, the wellness. So a lot of opportunity here for the market. So Lars Grano, thanks for joining CE Pro today. Great. Thank you so much, Jason.